Hello everybody, I'm Milanda aka Creative Mommy of Two and today I have a review for you on my latch hook kit. As you see it's the butterfly I finished. This is how it is supposed to look according to the image and this is how it looks once it's focused. I'm going to hold them side by side. Let's put them here for a bit. They look okay, but quite obviously this one is way more detailed. But it is a small one. It's just a what was it? 52 by 36 centimeter. Well, fabric. And yeah, I think if they wanted to show as much detail as in this, it should have been probably twice as big. Yeah, where to start about this one? I do like the fact that it already has a covering, so I don't need to worry about that. I can just put it on the ground and that's it. But yeah, probably, as you see, this is just my hand. My foot probably just fits on there and that's it. It's not like a big rug. But yeah, I already said what the size was, so yeah. The biggest problem I had with this one, even though it was really fun to work with, the... Um, how do you call it? Oh, word, seriously. You will the thing here in the corner. Um, you've seen it. Oh, seriously? The pattern that was worth. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to think. <laughs> the pattern that was on the piece of paper, it's just the back of this one, didn't align with the actual fabric. Here you might see this has here a lot of black and here well quite a lot of dark blue. Here on the other hand it the black should have been well about here and a blue should have been there. So it isn't completely aligned. Also here the I think the word is antenna of the butterfly. You're just this tiny ones because it didn't have the space to do this what is actually supposed to do and that's almost all around the canvas and uh, the fabric itself the well grids i should call it they were uh, colored but the colors didn't match so in the beginning here i on both sides. I started with this and then did this, so I could work kind of by the same colors. And by the time I was here I realized like okay this isn't going to work because I can't see what I am doing, how, how it's supposed to be. So I tried to figure out at what point I was in both wings. That was until I was here. And then I saw here where it kind of matched. Counted my ways up and then got, got down. But I think it wasn't, it was fun to work on, but it wasn't fun to work with, if that makes sense. The latch hooking itself was fun, but the misalignment of the canvas and all. The pattern on the canvas for the fabric and that that wasn't fun also i discovered that on these kind of busy paintings full paintings hear me kids i probably start better at the bottom next time because i had uh, many times where i poked my hook into these strings so probably next time i'm trying to do it the other way so i'm laying them flat this way 
instead of that way. But let's see, maybe once I am a few rows in, I think I don't do that again. So that's the thing we'll see. And then I'm going to put this off to the side for a bit. Still love the image though. I think this will, that rock will go at least as a spare for in my bath, uh, in the bathroom for when my daughter and probably in a couple of months my son come out of the tub then they can have something warm to put their feet up in winter time. Now we always put on a towel but this might be more fun just to use it. I have here all my leftovers. There are quite a, quite a lot, and also the pants. This is the one that came with the kit, but I have this one is just a bit easier and nicer to hold. But that's just my personal preference, and I had that one, so I'm going to toss these out. Some colors, <laughs> and there it fell on the floor. Some colors I don't have that much of, but others I hardly used. This one is all that is left of it, but I used I think one or two of these. I have this one, and here for this one with even a full one. This one is hardly used. This one's also one full and one used on this. But the easy thing is here on my pattern, I'm going to show you from the top down. There we go. Let my camera focus for a bit. Almost. There we go. As you can see, there are DMC numbers. So I am planning on getting a bag for each of these, writing on which number DMC it is, and then storing them away. Because I am planning to do more of these. Even though they are a pain in the ass to uh, discover where you are in, on the fabric, they're still fun to do. And I have a planning with these, so it is easy if I have them with a the DMC number also as a spare for if I do others that don't have the if you don't have enough of them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do later on with these. And I'm just going to see tomorrow what my daughter will think of the new rock for her feet. And that is actually already it, I think. It was fun to work on, it still was a pain in the behind. But once you figure it out, it's okay. The only thing is, it needed to be twice as big, at least, I think. But hey, if you just want something to work on, and don't have enough space, it's perfect. So, as always, I will link it down below in case you want to have this or have a look at the store. They are from AliExpress, so you might need to wait a little bit. And then I can start on my next one. I have one still, and then I am trying my hand at making my own. But I need to have the fabric first. So that will probably take me one or two months to get that. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, well, if you did technically, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more of me and my latch hooking or even my diamond painting, which is the main thing on my channel. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you a next time. Bye!